Hi there folks, this is Colin with Skelton Business Equipment and I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how the address book works in the new Sharp Series color machines. First you'll need to go to the web page of the machine by typing the IP address of the copier into your address bar in your favorite web browser here. Uh, if you don't have that IP address you can print a NIC page or a network configuration page that will give you that information from the copier. Uh, but once you're in the web page, just click address book and you'll see that this is empty here. There's nothing in here. So we can click this add button at the bottom of the screen and the address name here is what the button on the touch screen of the copier will read. So I'm just going to put my name in here and then I'll scroll down. And there are several different types. We have email, fax, FTP, desktop, and network folder. Um, I'm going to go over each one real quick. The email address, just leave it on the email tab, put your email address in here, and you can choose your whatever default file type you'd like. Most of the time we go with a compact PDF that makes the file size nice and small, and if you want it to be searchable, uh, check the OCR box. Leave this checkbox uh, checked and then click submit. Now if you're going to do several in a row, you can click submit and register next, which I'll do now. To go over the different types. So let's say we have a fax number we want to add in here, skeleton fax. And we'll scroll down, we'll move to the fax tab, and then we'll just put the fax number in here. And again, click submit, or if you're going to add more, you can click submit and register next. I'll go ahead and do that. Now we have a FTP example, so I'll just call this one Colin FTP. Choose the FTP tab. Uh, it asks for the host name or IP address of the uh, FTP server. This is likely your server, or if you enabled FTP sharing on your computer, uh, you'd put that address in right here. File type, again, choose whatever file type you want. Uh, I'm going to choose compact PDF, searchable, and then the directory. Uh, this is if you want to put it past the root directory of your FTP folder, you can have a, you know, another folder in there to drop it past the root into that folder. Uh, use your username and password for credentials, and if you're setting this up, I reckon you know if you need SSL or not. Again, leave that checked and click Submit or Submit and Register Next. All right, and then next we have the desktop uh, type is set up by the Network Scanner tool, which is a Sharp software program. So I'm just going to skip that one and go to Network Folder, and we'll call this one Colin Folder. Choose Network Folder, and you'll have to enter the full network path. So that's usually a computer name backslash backslash computer name backslash the shared folder and then again you'll enter your network username and password for credentials here choose your file type and click submit and now you'll see that I've got when I go back to the address book I've got my email my network folder my FTP and a, a fax number here okay so when I go to the machine now, this is the touch screen of, of the machine that I've just entered all those in, and I go to the scan button or the address book, they're all right here. And I'm going to sort those alphabetically and choose which one I want to send to. I can choose all of them if I'd like or one or the other. Um, but that's, that's basically it for adding them. And now to edit or remove them, if you want to remove these, just put checks here, click delete and that'll ask you are you sure you say yes and they're gone uh, if you want to edit them you'll click directly on the name of the address and then scroll down and make sure you're on the correct type and under this drop down here you'll choose address one and that will bring up the one that you've already entered and oops I forgot the S on the end of my name right here or whatever and uh, or change the file format what have you and then just click submit again